Good morning, and thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Tara with TheVibrationElevation.com, or here on YouTube with The Vibration Elevation with Tara. Today's I'm going to talk about something close to my heart. I'm going to talk about my new movement that I'm starting in this moment. Love the soul within and not the color of my skin. The fact is, we are all from the same unified conscious spirit. I say it all the time, so do so many other people that talk in the lines of spirituality and spiritualism. We come from one conscious source, one divine element. It doesn't matter if you call this divine conscious element God, or Buddha, or Allah, or Brahma, Christ, Christ consciousness, a higher power, the Holy Spirit, Jehovah, Krishna, the Source, the Supreme, Yahweh, we all derive from that one Source. We are all brothers and sisters. You are my brother and sister. I am your brother and sister. We share a universal, universal consciousness of one. We have what is known as total oneness. We have one conscious awareness, one divine element that we were made in his image or her image or their image come to earth and to live with each other in perfect harmony. And regardless of what religion you follow, the lessons are always the same. To treat each other as your brothers and sisters, to love each other, to let go of the differences. And the problem is, is that the separation of color, sex, religion, those are all man-made separations. Those are all things that were put on us to divide each other, to see the differences of each other so that we would not realize that we are all connected as one consciousness. Where does that come from? Where does that come from? It comes from a lower vibrating energy. Maybe it's the ego. Maybe it's from fear. Maybe it's from manifestation of energies or entities that we're unaware of that are trying to lower the vibration of the earthly ascension into the 4 or 5D where they would no longer be able to exist because in the 3D things that we've created in our mind can manifest and we see that all the time we see the creation of manifestation through the law of attraction through prayers and blessings happens regularly here on earth on the three-dimensional world well if we can do that with the good feelings thoughts and emotions we can also do that with the lesser thoughts and emotions those vibrating frequencies creating entities and energies that subsequently reign in fear reign in anger reign in disdain and those are the energies that are going to cause the separation of you and I being connected as one out of fear. Imagine what we can do together if we raise our hands and voices as one. Imagine what we can do together if we stopped having other people control our minds and we were able to use our own brains and critical thinking skills to unify ourselves and to stand and rise above. We took color, sex, and religion out of the equation and we walked around not just with masks on, but in suits, complete full armor suits. And nobody knew if we were black or white, male or female, or what religion or nationality we were. How would we connect at that point? We would connect with our universal spirit, with our divine souls, and we would understand the connectivity between you and I. And that is the truality of totality. 
is that we are all one and the perpetuation of the division of color, male and female, choosing a religion, sexual preferences. Those are not things that define who our soul is. That is not how we connect to each other. And the fact that it is being perpetuated in this realm of 3D is discouraging. And so many people are falling victim to it. It has to stop and it has to stop today. Look, we have to go through the seven stages, correct? We do know that the seven stages of grief begin at shock and then denial and then anger, guilt, sorrow, acceptance and engaging in life. I know we were all in shock at one time and that there was the stage of denial that we are not a racist vibration. It was long before I was alive. It was a long time ago. It was long before you even had an opportunity to learn your name. We have gone through the stage of anger and hostility and guilt the guilt that has been placed upon others for differences of opinion and the way that people had treated people that had nothing to do with you or I. We have been asked to go through the sorrow and I think that we have seen the sorrow. I think that we have seen the unified rise towards sorrow. But now we have to realize that we cannot change the past we can only move for the future and accepting the past as our history and learning from it and taking a moment to unify as a group, as a collective, as a one soul and engaging in life and love again is the most important piece here. In order to get to the other side of healing, I'm not a therapist, but I know that we go through the grievance stage I know that we go through the anger stage. I know we go through the acceptance stage before we can get to the healing stage. But look at, this is what we've gone through so far. So far through Martin Luther King, we've gone through the acknowledgement of segregation and the, there was a problem in the world, not just in the country, but in the world between people being divided based on the color of their skin. Not okay. With Martin Luther King, people started to unify and join together, correct? Here we are, 40, 60 years later, and we are in a critical division point where we shouldn't be at all. We should not be here. By all means, I am 45 years old. I am a Generation Xer. There were no more mixed relationships, mixed marriages, and mixed babies at any generational level than there was during Generation X. We were not looking at the color of each other's skin by any means. We stood together, we stood together strong, and it didn't matter what color you were. That's not what we saw as Generation X. And by so, we had a lot of multi, multi-nationality, multi-racial babies. Those multiracial babies are now in their 20s and they're having babies of their own and they are by no means racist. Neither is Generation X. And the fact that it's being promoted out there and perpetuated and slung in people's faces because they don't want to... How do we say this in a loving and caring manner? They don't want to acknowledge the differences. They want to promote the sameness, the oneness. We have to get past this point. We have to get past the anger. We have to get past the division and we have to start the healing process. And it has to start today. It, we don't have time to wait until tomorrow anymore. Tomorrow has come and gone and we have failed and we are gonna to continue to fail the generations that are behind us. If we don't stand up today and we don't take a step towards love and healing to get past this. My God, I never thought that I would ever be called a racist person in my life. 
I have so many friends and family of many different nationalities, creeds, backgrounds, religions, sexual preferences, and orientations. I do not judge people based on the choices or color of their skin or religion factors. It's not who I was innately brought up to be within. It is not who you were innately brought up within. We all know that we are divine brothers and sisters connected on another realm and that this three-dimensional earth is not the reality. This is a learning mechanism. My God, time doesn't even exist except for here on earth. So it is with a really heavy heart that I feel the need to discuss this topic. So I hope that you guys will stand with me. I hope that we together can start that movement to love the soul within and not the color of my skin and we can share that throughout the world throughout the country throughout youtube throughout facebook because you know what it is more important that we understand each other and that we love each other than we focus on the differences from each other that's not who we are when we get to the other side and we connect with people that are of different colors, beliefs, backgrounds, creeds, sexual orientations, and preferences here on this realm over there, you're going to be quite surprised at who you're connecting with. Don't be that person now. Don't be that person now that you're going to feel a certain way when you get to the other side because you treated somebody in a way that you shouldn't have when you were here. Let's get on it. Rise to the occasion. Be your best self. Be the person that you came here to be, that your soul signed up to be when they came to this earthly realm. Guys, look, at I really love you all, and I hope that you will go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like that, that, do whatever, the notification button, smash on that notification button. Okay, come and visit me again. I look forward to seeing your comments below.